I want to uh, just compare <clears throat> a couple of things. First of all, let's look at the Georgia case on Donald Trump. What is he? What What is the actual indictment say? <clears throat> okay. Well, uh, let me just give you a, a rundown of some of the conspiratorial acts. The Fulton County prosecutor indicted Meadows for soliciting phone numbers from a pair of Pennsylvania lawmakers. Hey, can you give me the phone number of this guy and this guy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meadows, I'm quoting, Meadows sent a text message to United States Representative Scott Perry from Pennsylvania and stated, can you send me the number for the speaker and the leader of the Pennsylvania legislator? POTUS wants to chat with them. The document then reads, this was an overt act in furtherance of the conspiracy. Act 22 cited the Georgia indictment charged uh, Trump with conspiracy for encouraging supporters to watch One American News Network. He wrote, quote, Georgia hearings now on One American News. Amazing. This was, quoting, this was an overt act in furtherance of the conspiracy. Act 100 of the indictment faulted the president for encouraging supporters to tune in to Newsmax. Act 101 listed another tweet that encouraged supporters to tune in to the Right Side Broadcasting Network as an act of conspiracy. Act 38 of the criminal indictment charged Giuliani for retreat, retweeting a patriot call to action that encourages voters to call their members of Congress. The tweet stated, Georgia Patriot Call to Action. Today is the day we need you to call your state house and state reps and ask them to sign the petition for a special session. We must have free and fair elections in Georgia, and this is our only path to ensuring every legal vote is counted. This was an overt act in furtherance of a conspiracy. Okay, <clears throat> I could go on. Uh, defendant uh, David Schaefer indicted for reserving a room at the Georgia Capitol in December 2020. Reserving the room, which was used for a meeting of alternative uh, alternate uh, presidential electors, declared an overt act of furtherance of the conspiracy. Act 32, criminal indictment charged Trump for calling the Georgia state le le leaders to ensure signature verification and call for a special session. This was an overt act in furtherance of the conspiracy. Act 45, Michael Roman uh, is, fault, is faulted for requesting an unidentified, unindicted co-conspirator to encourage the co-defendant, Misty Hampton, to attend a House committee hearing in Georgia on election fraud. This was an overt act in furtherance of a conspiracy. Okay, I think you get it. I think you get it. Now, let me look at the Biden case because he said they got nothing on Biden. Nothing. Here's what we do have right now. Um, Biden uh, record, uh, records obtained through the uh, subcommittee subpoenas reveal that Biden's and their family members, their associates, have received over $20 million in payments from foreign entities. So this isn't just about Hunter. In Romania, September 28, 2015, Vice President Biden welcomed Romanian President Klaus Indoninis, or whatever, to the White House. Within five weeks of this meeting, a Romanian businessman involved with a high-profile corruption prosecution in Romania began depositing a Biden Associates bank account, which ultimately made their way into the Biden family accounts. He made 16 of the 17 payments, totaling over $3 million to the Biden associate account while Joe Biden was vice president. Biden family accounts ultimately received approximately $1.38 million. The total amount from Romania to the Biden family and their associates is over $3 million. Now, the Biden family, what exactly were they selling to this Romanian cat? Now, 
they're keep, they keep saying this is just about Hunter Biden, who did some, clearly we all know he did some very, you know, some illegal things. Oh, we clearly know that now? Because you clearly have said he hasn't done any of those things. The president said specifically, my son has done nothing wrong. Correct. That's, but now we clearly know. Well, we all know now. We all know now. Okay. In China, on March 1st, 2017, less than two months after Vice President Joe Biden left public office, State Energy HK Limited, a Chinese company, wired $3 million to the Biden's associates account. This is the same bank account used in the Romanian uh, uh, scandal. After the Chinese company wired the Biden associate account with $3 million, the Bidens received approximately $1.65, over a three-month period in different bank accounts. Additionally, the chairman gave Hunter Biden a diamond worth $80,000. Lastly, CFC, uh, CEFC created a joint venture with the Bidens in the summer of 2017, The timeline lays out the WhatsApp messages and subsequent wires from the Chinese to the Bidens of $100,000 and then $5 million. The total amount from China, specifically with CEFC and their related entities, to the Biden family and associates is over $8 million. Those are just two. I mean, I've uh, I've got six of these. Those are just two. Now, I would think that you don't have to get them on a conspiracy charge. See, a conspiracy charge, what is a conspiracy? It's a meeting between two people that agree to do something. That's, that's all it is. I've met with Stu, and we've agreed to do something. And then a furtherance of that is me meeting with Stu again or me calling somebody and saying, hey, I need to book a room for Stu. That's a conspiracy. The the effect of a conspiracy, however, is to discredit people. Oh, they're part of a they're part of a global cabal. Now, they call us conspiracy theorists, but then charge us. With conspiracy, anybody who was uh, with Donald Trump on saying, I don't think that election was fair, apparently part of the conspiracy. You were just furthering this conspiracy. Okay. All righty. So, wait, you're getting us on booking a room? You're getting us for texting a... Uh, a, a state legislator saying I need the numbers? Really? Okay, all right. I think, I think the five million dollars uh, from China, the eight million total to the family and associates, I think that's a little bigger. And I think that it's clear what's happening once somebody just asks a simple question: What, what did the family do for the five million dollars? I mean, I, I, I know that, and this is illegal, I know that you were selling the illusion, Hunter Biden was, but he was all by himself, right? He was just doing this himself. He's just a crack addict. He didn't know what he was doing. So then who set up all of the shell companies? And why is the family not coming out and saying, I didn't know I had a shell company. I'm outraged. I want to give all that money back. I don't want any of that money. How come that's not happening? How come no one's asking about the shell companies? You cannot compare these two. One is doing, you may disagree with them, but one is doing uh, exactly what Hillary Clinton did. I won. I'm telling you I won. There's something funny going on here. And the conspiracy is to discredit the American election system. <clears throat> really? Because I think that had been done long before by, I don't know, Al Gore, Hillary Clinton, Rahm Emanuel, everybody who has said it, uh, uh, in Georgia specifically, Stacey Abrams. I mean, 
I think that's already been done. You don't need a conspiracy to do that. That had already been done. What hasn't been done is taking millions of dollars, and they know that this is the problem. Because listen to what that representative said at the very beginning. Remember, they're trying him. They, they, every time he's indicted, they, they, they go after the system. Y- yeah, because the indictment is nonsense. It's nonsense. But go ahead. Try it. I just want a fair trial. I want a fair judge. But go ahead. Try that. This one, they know is trouble because listen to what he is comparing it to. Listen. To do a serious analysis of what the law should be about money making. And you would take part in a serious people. investigation. Yes, of course we one. would. And, and we're going to release a report about all of the foreign government emoluments, millions of dollars we can document that Donald Trump pocketed at the hotels, at the golf courses, through business deals. Stop, when he was- stop, stop, stop. Through his golf courses and his hotels, all the money he pocketed, he did a business deal long ago to have a hotel in a country. And they're getting him for taking the money from the hotels and putting it in his pocket. Well, that's legal. That's called business. What do you, what are you, what are you saying? You have evidence that he took illegal money and he was laundering that money from the hotel through several different shell corporations? Because we have, from the banking system to the Treasury, 70, 70 warnings that this is money laundering in regards to the Biden. 70. Do do you have one of those for Donald Trump? Because I don't think so. They know they're in trouble. 